Hello and welcome to this new video. In this video I want to show you how you can create a portable Windows installation on a USB drive. I have here a USB drive and we will install Windows 11 on that. This tutorial also works for Windows 10. And what we are going to do is uh, something, this is called Windows to go. So you can create a portable Windows installation with Windows to go. Okay, let's get started. We need a USB drive. Um, the bigger the better. For example, for Windows 11, I recommend at least 64 gigabytes. Um, this USB drive here has 128 gigabytes. So the bigger the better because, well, Windows is not so, not so and small here anymore. Is. Now and Windows has also booted and installed data like and regular uh, programs on system. The first Windows. thing you should okay, do the first is, thing we need to do is download Windows, Windows 11. Not only the update, Microsoft but offers a download for the system. Here we can download so, for example, this image of working, Windows 11. Do a Windows Just scroll down on the page. Install. All the links are also in drivers. the post. Uh, okay, put the well, link in the video that's description. it. Uh, okay, goodbye. So we can download the Windows 11 disk image here, the ISO file, and well, it's a small process here we have to do. Uh, so just select the download. It's only Windows 11, of course. Hit the download button, and then we can also select the product language. In our case, we will pick uh, English as language. Click the confirm button and now all we need to do is click the download button and this will download the ISO file. So I already done that and the next step is to download another small tool called Rufus. Rufus is a small application to create bootable USB drives and just download it here from the web page here. There are two options here. The first one is an installable version and you can also download a portable version, which is basically a zip file. You have to unzip it and start the application. So I already have done that too. Uh, download the portable um, version of Rufus and started it here. So the user interface looks like that. I will now connect my USB drive to my computer and after that, um, we can select the drive here and you can also uh, change the language if the program starts in the wrong language. For example, this is in German here. You can select another language from the list here. Okay, now we have started the tool in English and all we need to do is select the device, the or USB drive we want to use. Uh, just be careful to select the correct USB drive because every data on that USB drive will be deleted in the process. So if you have multiple USB drives connected, make sure that you have selected the correct one. The next thing we need to select uh, our disk image of Windows. In our case, you will select the Windows 11 English ISO file here. And now we have to select an image option here and set it to Windows to go. And well, that's all we need to do. Um, for example, if you have an older computer you might select want to select MBR here as partition scheme but in most cases GPT uh, and UEFI should be should be uh, the right option here and now we are finished and now we all have to do is uh, hit the start button and now we have to select the version of Windows we want to use in my case I want to use Windows 11 Pro and hit OK and now the process starts and the image will be written to our USB drive in a few seconds. We get a warning message, we click OK, and then the Windows ISO file will be put on the USB drive. This will take a few minutes. OK, the process is now finished and we can close the application and have a small look in the Explorer. And here's our USB drive. If we double click on it, we can now see that there's a Windows installation with program folder on it. So, OK, let's try to boot that and see how it looks. OK, I've connected the USB drive to my computer. I will start the computer now and now I have to call the boot menu, the startup device selection in order to boot from the USB drive. It's different on any, every computer. Here I have to click enter and then hit the F12 key in order to sec select a temporary startup device. On other computer models, it might be F2, F10, Escape. So have a look on the internet how to do it with your computer. 
In the boot menu I now have to, to select the USB drive, here it's my Samsung flash drive. Hit enter and now it should boot from USB and start Windows. And here it is, now Windows has booted and it looks like a regular Windows system. The first thing you should do is uh, Windows update, this will install not only the updates but also drivers for the system. So for example if something isn't working do a Windows update and install missing drivers. Okay, well that's it, uh, goodbye.